We tend to think of equations as being tools, tools that we pick up, use, and then put down again. But a small number of them do much more than that. They have a cultural impact. They change the way that we think about the world. This book is about those. It chooses 10 equations that have done that and talks a little bit about their, their history, uh, how they came into being, and how they changed the way that we view the world. The early socialists, for instance, looked at Newton's law of universal gravitation and said, you know, ah, that's what we ought to be looking for in the human world. We ought to be trying to look for laws in the human world that are as universal as the laws that Newton found in the natural world. Thomas Hobbes, the, the English philosopher, his, his life was changed by the Pythagorean theorem. When he first saw it, he didn't believe it, but he followed down all the proofs, and that convinced him that the proof was right. And that in turn, that experience in turn, uh, led him to think that he ought to write in a different way. And he began to write his own philosophy, kind of modeling it after the procedure of Euclid. And in the process, he turned into one of the most important political philosophers of all time. I'm a columnist for the magazine Physics World, and I began to write articles about equations, and I found wonderful stories about the beginnings of equations, from Euler's theorem to the the Newton's law of gravitation, to F equals MA, to the Pythagorean theorem. There's treasures to be found in the stories of these equations. The book is for a general readership. The first equation that I discuss in the book is a disarmingly simple one, one plus one equals two. And I quote uh, someone who wrote me once, a poet from Canada, who told me about the experience of his child discovering that one plus one equals two and how the child's face was filled with wonder. He suddenly had a template for understanding the world, a template for all the other equations. In a way, the, the, the point of the book is to, is to restore the wonder to these equations, the wonder that they had when we first experienced them.